Hi, if you are watching this, I am sure you are making progress. In the last set of videos, we discussed the process of ledger posting and in this video, I am going to give you a recap of the learnings from the ledger posting and I will give you a preview of the things to come. So by now, you should be very well aware, uh, familiar with the process of ledger posting. You should know what the debit and credit balances stand for and which types of accounts have what kind of balance. You should also be familiar with the process of preparing ledger account for a given item. For example, if you have to prepare a customer account, an asset account, a bank account, a depreciation account, any given account, you should be familiar with that process. And you should also know how to account for profit or loss on the uh, you know, sale of an asset. We've done all this in the previous videos and if you have any doubts, any clarifications, I uh, would request you to go back and revisit uh, the videos. Now let's move forward. In the following videos, we are going to look at the next step and again, let me take you back to this slide uh, from, you know, the initial videos uh, and, you know, the slide tells you that you are on step three now. We've already learned the process of recording and classifying the transactions in journal and ledger respectively. Now it is time for the third step and the third step is summarizing. So accounting is an art of recording, classifying and summarizing the transactions. So the third step is what is coming uh, your way and this new statement, the third statement, third book is called a trial balance. So in the following video, I'm going to take you through the trial balance, the process of preparing the trial balance and uh, other details uh, relating to this step in the accounting cycle. I'll see you in the next video.